Hey, hey, hey. All right, it is time to finally get ready and do some bee cards. We're gonna buzz on to our bees. Um, all right, so I'm using these Stampotique stamps by Daniel Torrente or Torrent, I don't know. But anyway, Stampotique has some like completely awesome, cool stuff. Um, but anyway, and I actually do, for the most part, keep them on their wood mounted blocks um, just because, uh, I don't know, just because I enjoy the weird art, I guess. I'm just kind of a weirdo and oddball. So that's why we are starting with not a normal B card. We're going to do something different. Um, I'm feeling the different vibe. I've already tried this one, so we're going to try, there's like a little B stamp and a big B stamp mounted on one, so that's kind of cool. I'm trying to make like a bee dress, but I gotta turn this sideways. This chair is like squeaking like crazy. Okay, not bad. I could have been up a little touch more on her chin, but it doesn't have to be, I guess. Bee. <laughs> you said the magic word. I feel like Sesame Street. I don't know. Anyway, um, so. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to overstamp or not. I'm just going to start stamping them. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason to this. We're just going to see what it looks like. Every one I stamp is different, so I don't know. Let's see how it goes. The point, basically, is to make a, like, a long, full type, I don't know, dress. You know what I'm saying? Uh, why didn't that one stamp? Oh, no. Now, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I, I basically lined that up perfect. Oh, my goodness. That would, like, never happen again. Well, that's just awesome. <laughs> Don't you love it when, like, a mistake happens and then you could actually, actually fix it? Woohoo. All right. So, what have you guys been up to this week? This is our week of bees. I'm gonna make it come on down just a little bit more like that. What do y'all think? I don't know. That's probably enough. I almost want, there's one more too much. What do y'all think? Just off the side a little bit. I don't know. Not sure you can really tell that's a dress, but it is to me. So we're gonna go with it. Okay. Let me get the black off of my hands. I need my wipes. Ugh. Okay. So uh, we've been using the little memento ink pads in tuxedo black. So now we're going to punch out a little crown. Just take some scrap paper. I'll do a few just so, um, you know, just so in case we mess up. That's what I'm trying to say. Then we're going to color all this in and all that good stuff. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this first. I have, you know what? I don't bet that, I bet that's not going to fit. Oh, it's not. Well, that is from that same company as well, I think. Yes, it is. Be your own queen. I wish I had one more E, but that's okay. I have other things that I want to use as well. Um, make sure I'm in the frame here. So I'm just going to draw a little line at those little, the jewel thing at the top, the little crown. I imagine it's the crown jewel. Anyway, let's see. So, do you guys have many bee stamp sets? Are you, are you into bees? Um, I guess I finally made my peace with bees <laughs> over the years. When I was little, I told you guys this before, but hey, hang on, you're going to hear it again. Um, 
I had uh, a neighbor, her name is Miss Buchanan, and she was like the quintessential little old lady, and she was like the grandma kind of look. Um, I need a yellow. Um, and she had like silver white hair, and she lived right across from me, like over well, the other way. Anyway, I know I can't see where I'm pointing, but over there. And um, she just even had like a little grandma house. It was just so cute. And she would love for me to come over and just talk a minute. She was, I don't know, old people, we need to remember our elderly. You know, I shouldn't call them old, I should say elderly. Um, they're, they're usually really lonely. So, um, what am I going to do with it now? I think I'm just going to go ahead and give her hair to match the bees here. Mm, yeah. Um, but anyway, so she lived over there and I would go over sometimes and talk to her and, um, she had, a, an older daughter that lived with her as well and, uh, her name's Margaret and <laughs> some, sometimes Margaret, Margaret had some mental health issues that, um, I don't know, she normally, um, <clears throat> as long as Miss Buchanan was there, she did well, like, she took her medicine and things, and, um, but occasionally, if Miss Buchanan went to see, um, her other daughter that lived farther away, or if she had to be in the hospital or anything like that, Margaret would get off her meds, and Margaret would come down the street, um, butt naked most of the time, except for her slippers, and it's so funny, I think should probably phase me that don't, but, um, I remember just as a little girl that, this is so not the B story, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Anyway, um, she came down the, the road, it was like six o'clock in the morning, and, uh, I was up, it was a Saturday morning, I got up early to watch cartoons, because that's what I did back in the day, and, um, you didn't have DVRs and all that stuff, it was, you watch your Saturday morning cartoons, you got your butt up, so you could actually watch them, and whatever, but anyway, um, so I was up early, and I saw her going down the road, and um, only in her pink fuzzy slippers, and no clothing or anything, and I remember thinking, like, not that that was odd that she was nude, but that I really needed a pair of pink fuzzy slippers, so, yeah, but anyway, um, you know, sometimes you see things other people don't see, but, um, Anyway, I'm going to give her this little peachy pink kind of skin tone here. Um, but anyway, so back to Miss McCannon. So she had this beautiful, beautiful weeping willow tree in the yard. And I would always go over there. And I just, I love that tree. I still love weeping willows. But she was having some things cut down. And I guess it was like messing up the driveway or something. I don't know. But anyway. Um, so I'm going to do... Maybe not that one. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be okay. Um, I want to make the wings. That's the lightest one I probably have, except for like zero. Hmm. Well, let's try it, because I did one darker, and I didn't care for that. I want the wings almost whisper white, you know, but, um, but if you're going to have some sort of color, I feel like gray is like white, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But anyway, um, so she was also having another little tree cut down, and, um, but in the, like, trunk of the tree or whatever, um, she had had one cut down previous, too, and then in the trunk of that tree, this one was fine, we would, like, climb on it and whatever, but, um, in the trunk of that tree, a bee's nest had apparently been built, and, um, it was yellow jackets, yeah, yeah. and, uh, so anyway, I was over there, and I, I don't know if I was climbing or dancing around, or who knows what I was doing as a child, but anyway, I was over there, and all of a sudden, I'm, I don't know if I knocked it, or what the deal was, but bees started coming from everywhere, and they were, like, flying up my shirt, and I ran home, I was, like I said, just across the road there, but, um, stripping down myself, and, uh, yelling for my mother, and, um, but anyway, <laughs> that was not a pleasant experience. I got stung many times, and then later in life, they told me I was allergic to these, so I don't know, 
um, I don't suppose I've really been stung in a lot of years to really know. Like I had some allergy testing done a while back, long, like maybe, gosh, 20 years ago. Anyway, um, but they said I was allergic and then, so I don't really know if I am or not, but mm -hmm. I feel like I keep coloring because I can't see. It's too, it's almost too light, but that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. We're going to wink a Stella, but then we're going to put the sentiment probably here. But I just have to decide which sentiment we're going to use and add our crown and all that stuff. Need a little bit more oomph there. Um, so anyway, for a while, I did not like these, but then, you know, eventually finally realized how uh, useful they are and all their beautiful honey and if you're not prepped up on your honey, you should totally get some honey. By the way, just a little prepper FYI. Um, there's so many uses for honey. But personally, I like it for like coughing or whatever. Take a teaspoon of honey and you will not. I don't even really like honey just by itself though. But um, if I'm coughing bad enough, I will take a teaspoon of honey. And it really does work. Like better than any, any cough syrup that I have tried. So, it'll, like, stop it instantly. I'm not saying it'll last forever, but, you know. Um, but speaking of honey, it does kind of last forever. You can, it never really goes bad, they say. You can, like, even if it crystallizes or something, you can boil it again. And I don't know. So, anyway. So, shipmate, give us an update on, uh, was it your grandfather or your father? Seems like it was your grandfather. You told me that um, it's like a beekeeper raise bees and things. Um, does he still do that? Is he still, you know, in the biz? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add some sparkle to this too. We wouldn't want a, our crown not to sparkle, you know. All right. I'm going to, I feel like this is a little bit big for her head. Well, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I was going to trim it down a little bit. I'll just keep it the way it is. Um, okay. I guess I'll get the SD out here. Let me take that off a minute. Push some of this out of our way. Okay. So... I should stamp it in red. Ooh. Ooh la la. Maybe not. Alright, so this one says all all hail the the birthday queen. So if I want to send it for somebody's birthday, but I don't know if I do. And then I've got this one that I already got out. Be the queen you are. Um, that's from this set. Where we could do strive to be amazing. Don't worry, be happy. Um, be kind. Maybe just be the queen you are. I wanted this, though, because that, I don't know. I just kind of went with it more. But let's go ahead. I have a little baby crown, too, that I got out in case we wanted to use that. Um, so let's just go with that one there. up just a little bit because I got ink right on the the main thing here and I don't want that. Alright, we're gonna stamp that one more time. I feel like it skips a little. And they're newer until you like ink them up but they don't stamp beautifully I feel like. Okay. So I'm gonna keep this. Um I have, all right, so we are going to put this on, right? So we're definitely going to do that. But let me show you what I've cut out. I've, I've been cutting instead of making. Um, 
don't know. So I've got different things here we could use. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got a bunch of pages of cut stuff. I can reach them. Okay. Uh, I got those blooms from last time. I thought that could come in handy. Um, should we add like a, hmm, maybe, maybe. Or would yellow be better? Possibly, probably not those. Although, hmm, well, we could try some of those. Here. Then I cut a bunch of this stuff too. Little hives and things. Might do a little hive. Cut out a bunch of words and and then sometimes I'll cut stuff out and I'll never use it and then it just goes in a drawer and I don't know. Is that too tone on tone though? Probably. So I could do that. Or I could just do it down the side. I don't know. I do sort of like the actual B though, but. Let's keep with the B, I think. I wouldn't mind a pop of gold, though, if we wanted to. Hmm. I don't know. We'll find some other way to use those later. I think. And I have these, but if we're going to do the gold, we should probably do these. Ooh, there's a giant B. I didn't realize they were all different. There's a big old bee. So, well, it is the queen bee, so maybe she should be a big one. Hmm. Oh, anyway, yeah, they never go back in, right? Everything falls back out. Okay, I'm gonna quit wasting time here. Okay, maybe that one wants to say it landed there. So I'm gonna trim this just a hair. Just hold that up and measure that. Wouldn't that be smart thinking? Probably not. That would make it way too simple. I just don't know now. I almost think it should be by itself, but we're just going to do it that way anyway. Okay. So, put some tape on the back of this one. We'll use our new scrapbook.com tape. See how it holds up. If you get this, let me know how it holds up. Anyway, I want to do a big shout out to um, a new channel that just came on board. You guys probably know her from um, commenting here if you notice any comments or anything. And, ah, goodness. Um, er, my goodness. 
um, and that is our 907 Craft Addict. And uh, so you guys be sure and check out her channel. She has, I think, you know what? Would I even have to glue that? I probably will. Um, anyway, she has been commenting on here for a long time and I uh, love reading her stuff and getting her cards and all that good stuff. She's an awesome crafter. She does scrapbooking and she actually just did a, um, I'm sorry. Oh my God, I messed that up. Uh, it's 907 Craft, Crafty Life, I think. Oh no. <laughs> I will leave it in the description box below. Um, I want to get that right because she is awesome. But anyway, um, so, uh, uh <laughs> y'all, anyway, she just did a really cool, um, look at that, part of my nail polish is on the card. That's great. Um, and it was staying pretty well, to be honest. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is she just did a room tour, and I love room tours. Like, love a craft room tour. It's one of my favorite things. Um, so glad she did that. But she is the most organized person, I do believe, I have ever seen. If you want a direct, like, link or whatever, too. I don't know how to leave links. But, um, she comments on most of my videos. So, just look under one of the old videos and you'll see 907 on there. So, um, you can just click that and it'll take you straight to her thing. Please like, comment, and subscribe to her. She's awesome. You're going to love them. And uh, I think I better get tape for this. Um, but anyway, she did the room video. And, uh, okay. Um, she is the most organized person I do believe I've ever seen. I really need her help. <laughs> if she could come here and help me organize, that would be amazing. I would love it. Unfortunately, she's like on the other side of the world from me, but or the U.S. anyway. But, uh, yeah, I wish she could. Because she has got it going on for organization. Like, you, you, I will promise you, you'll pick up some tips. I'm definitely going to use the color drawer thing. She's got like little dots on the drawer and especially for the inks, you know, that would be an awesome way to store your, uh, I'm going to push that up just a little. I wonder if I should put jewels right there. Hmm. Um, ooh, I wonder if I should put a bee right there on her head, on her crown. She's the bee queen. Worship me. I don't know. I think I will. Hot diggity dog. Okay. Um, Anyway, and then yesterday, um, ooh, she had posted a, uh, a haul video, which is my second favorite thing past the room tour. Maybe, I don't know. They run a tight race, honestly, the tight race, which one I like better, haul videos or, um, cause then I was sitting there like making my mental list, like, yeah, I need that. Yeah, I need that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So yeah. Anyway. Um, got this just a little crooked, but oh well. Okay, guys, I think that is pretty much all the damage I can do to this. I was going to add one of these, but since I added that B and those Bs, I think I'm going to pass. Um, but anyway, stay tuned for lots more B cards. Go check out her channel, and I will leave the name of it in the, uh, the comment section below. And like I said, if you need a direct link, just look at one of my other comments from her. You can click on it, it'll go straight to her channel. So let's show her some love. Welcome to YouTube, girl. All right, I will talk to y'all later. Bye, guys.